Good morning. Please kneel. Prayer to our Lady of Lords. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All together. O ever immaculate Virgin, Mother of Mercy, health of the sick, refuge of sinners, comfort of the afflicted, you know our wants, our troubles, our sufferings. Cast upon us a look of mercy. By appearing in the Great of Lords, you were pleased to make it a privilege, a sanctuary, where you dispense your favors. And already, many sufferers have obtained the cure of their infirmities, both spiritual and corporal. We come, therefore, with the most unbounded confidence to implore you maternal intercession. Obtain, loving Mother, the grant of our requests. We will endeavor to imitate your virtues so that we may one day share your glory and bless you in eternity. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, health of the sick. Saint Bernadette Subaru, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. It seems like you're still sleepy, so kindly greet one another a good and happy morning. <coughs> Dear sisters and brothers, we are once again gathered this Sunday morning in order to praise the Lord in this third Sunday of Easter. The Church continues to celebrate the victory of the Resurrection. And because of this, Jesus continues to visit us and strengthen us in our faith. Dear sisters and brothers, sometimes we lose ground in our faith. Sometimes we doubt. Sometimes we get discouraged. And sometimes we cannot see the light of Easter. So now, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to God's people on God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Glory to God in the highest. Peace to God's people on earth. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to God's people on earth. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father.
us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You deny the Holy and Righteous One and ask that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witness. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did, but God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced before, and beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God. You relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayer. that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. 
for you alone, O Lord. Bring security to my dwelling. A reading from the first letter of John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. According to Luke, the two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do, why do, you question? Why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see because a ghost does not have flesh and bones. As you can see, I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that a Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes in life, dear sisters and brothers, very extreme, very extreme emotions can paralyze us. Sometimes you see a mother looking at her burning house, and then you would see her shock and her grief, and she would not talk for several minutes, just looking in awe at what was happening, the bad thing that is happening to her family. Sometimes also, if someone wins the lotto, they could not speak, they could not rejoice, they're just simply paralyzed. That is the very nature of human, human emotion. Sometimes it paralyzes us when it is too extreme. And our gospel reading this morning gives us a glimpse of how Jesus broke through the paralysis. In our gospel reading, it is a continuation of what happened on the road to Emmaus. Remember, there were two disciples walking along, and Jesus joined them, and they were asking them questions until they reached the house, where they, where they broke the bread, and their eyes were opened. And immediately, when they recognized Jesus, they went back to Jerusalem to report what had happened. And this time in our reading, they were reporting. And while they were reporting to the other disciples, Jesus himself appeared to them. And he said, Peace be with you. But the disciples were very, very shocked. They could not believe their eyes. And so what did Jesus do? He broke through their paralysis. And to break their paralysis, he asked for food. Unsay gihatag nila sa iyaha. Halawa na minaw sa gospel. Unsay gihatag. Sa Bisaya pa. Isda. Unsay na big fish. Sinugba. The risen Christ ate sinugba to prove to them that he is not a ghost. He is really alive. The Jesus that was crucified and died on the cross is now alive and eating before them. Jesus demonstrated the resurrection to them. And aside from that, He explained to them the scriptures so that their minds would be open. He explained to them that all of the things that had happened before should have happened. It must happen because it is required that the Son of Man had to die for the forgiveness of sins. And so the disciples began to understand that what had happened before had to happen so that the resurrection can usher in. And so they began to understand. And what does this tell us, brothers and sisters? That first of all, Jesus comes in His resurrection to assure us because even now, kamo, while you are sitting there, you do not feel the resurrection. That's why when I began the Mass, I told you, greet one another, be happy. It is Easter tide. It is still Easter season. Why are you not happy? Siguro kapoy kay mo this week, no? Nakaroon, gipang dukka mo. Huh? You should be happy because the Lord is alive. And the Lord comes to assure us that despite of the pains of the past, He comes with the glory of the resurrection. That He really is alive and that all the pains had finally borne fruit. And it is so in our lives, dear sisters and brothers, that when you look back, so that I can be like this today. God sometimes gives us our own experience of resurrection. You go through a very terrible problem, but you come out stronger. Not because of your own strength, but because God has empowered you. Secondly, dear sisters and brothers, Jesus comes not only to assure us, but also to claim for us the fruit of the resurrection. And this is where he tells the disciples that everything had to happen. I had to die so that you could all live, so that sins could be forgiven. And this profession of faith is what St. Peter 
professed in our first reading that the Messiah had to die for the forgiveness of sins, not only of our sins, but of the sins of the whole world. Jesus did not die only for Jews. Jesus did not die only for Catholics. Jesus died for everyone. And to demonstrate that, he used his own body. This is the resurrected body. A body that still lives, a body that still eats, a body that still bears the wounds of the cross. But aside from that, he opens to us the scriptures. It's the same thing that is happening now. You come to church for Jesus to open the scriptures to you in our liturgy of the word. And later on, we will demonstrate the power of the resurrection in the Eucharist. Jesus claims for us that resurrection and he tells us to believe. Doubt no longer and believe. Take part in the resurrection. And so I invite the choir, you know, be alive in your singing. You know, ang glory ganina dapat glorious. You know, glorious good. Be alive in the resurrection because Jesus had already claimed it for you. And lastly, dear sisters and brothers, Jesus does not only assure us, Jesus does not only claim for us the resurrection, He also sends us. Because He said, You are now the witnesses of the resurrection. Those who have seen the glory of the resurrection is now being sent to share it to others. Just as St. Peter in our first reading had preached despite of the opposition of the Jews, he found the courage to preach that Jesus is really alive. And our second reading, and our second reading from the first letter of John would tell us that if you have really witnessed the gospel, be ready to be truthful with it. Because those who are not truthful do not believe. And what does truthfulness mean here? That you have to obey. Obey the law of love. Because the best fruit of the resurrection is charity. First, be charitable to yourself. Unsa gitawag nila sa Sabbath, the day of the Lord? It's a day of rest. Allow yourself to rest today. Ay sa gunahon nagtrabaho. Because the, the, the problem with today's generation is we're so workaholic, we bring our work inside our homes. Be charitable to yourself today. Second, be charitable to others, especially your family. Make sure that today, your children, your spouse will feel your love. Do something special for each other. Siguro i-treat ni mo yung mong mga anak. Mga simple joys lang, ice cream. No? Kung di ka afford ng ice cream, ice candy. Simple things. And for children, surprise your parents. Uy, nang hugas lagi ka. Uy, nang limpyo lagi ka karun. Uy, nang nilihig lagi ka. Uy, nang laba lagi ka. Be charitable, especially with the family. And lastly, dear sisters and brothers, proclaim. Proclaim the resurrection to other people, especially with your witnessing. Katong mga silinga ni mo nga wala ni Simba karun or why planong mo Simba, bring them to church. Share the gospel with them. Tell them Jesus is alive and He has died for you. You are the witnesses of the resurrection. Dear sisters and brothers, our reading tells us that Christ assures us that Christ claims for us the resurrection through the Word and the Eucharist. And lastly, as just as we have experienced the res resurrection, He sends us out to proclaim its glory. May this Holy Mass strengthen us and give us the power to do just that. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who be the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our whole life should bear witness to the truth that we are saved by Jesus' death and resurrection. Aware of our inadequacy to do so, we pray, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the entire church, under the guidance of its leaders, may not grow weary of proclaiming the resurrection and bear witness to it. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all those who suffer may find in the resurrection of Christ the sure resource of consolation and hope. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That those who doubt the reality of Christ's resurrection may be helped to believe by the exemplary life of all the faithful. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all the victims of natural calamities and human violence may experience the concrete support of all those who believe in the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all of us who gathered here to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord may experience its life-giving power in our daily activity. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray that the Lord will also break our paralysis, a paralysis of fear, a paralysis of indifference, or a paralysis of discouragement, whatever that holds us back from celebrating the resurrection of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus, help us to overcome the deadly effects of our sinfulness and to become signs of your resurrection to all our brothers and sisters. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
Indeed, pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the sufferings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb was slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together in ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the fellows worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Osea our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of a resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on her sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of 
God, behold, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Please be seated for some announcements. There will be a confirmation this coming May 27 here at the Shrine for children 12 years old and above. This, include, this excludes those for marriage purposes. For more information and requirements, kindly proceed to the parish office. There will be a votive Mass at 5.30 a.m. at the Grotto on Tuesday, April 16, the feast day of St. Bernadette Subaru. Everybody is invited to attend. Thank you. Please stand for the final blessing. Pwede ko mo insert o goan pahinumdum. Uh, this summer, we will be holding our Summer Saya sa Lourdes, our uh, summer trainings for young people. Later on, in a few weeks' time, we will issue some marketing materials and enrollment forms. So, kung nang inyong mga anak, way buhaton during the summer, you can send them at the youth center and we will, we will train them in music, sports, in arts, and some tutorial services. So, hold on because uh, we'll be preparing for that one this summer break. Adili din na summer break, no? Kay June naman na. June break. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>